Hey y'all, welcome, I'm Candace, and in this video, I'm doing a review, finally, <laughs> of my Balenciaga Neo Classic City Mini. Wow, look at it right. I also have a review on my Nano, just like, well, it's like this, but it's smaller. I'll link it below in case you missed it, but finally reviewing this one, this one's slightly bigger. In this video, we'll be talking about the outer appearance, the characteristics, the interior, what fits, and pros and cons, ways to style it, all of that good stuff. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so if you see me looking down, I have notes. So I want to bring y'all the accurate info. So the only way I'm gonna bring y'all accurate info is if I look, because I don't have a good memory. Anyway, this bag retails for $17.50 through 2090. It starts at 1750, usually for the croc, I think. And it goes up to 20 or 2090. This specific bag with smooth leather, this is smooth leather. You see it up close. This style retails for 1890. We'll get more into the price. That's a great price for this, by the way, but we'll talk more about it later on in the video. Also, it comes in five sizes. It comes in the Neo Classic, which is the great like the huge one, not the great one, the big one, really big one. There's a Neo Classic Small, which is bigger than this one, believe it or not. This is the Neo Classic Mini. There's also a Neo Classic Nano and a Neo Classic Super Nano. That one's super tiny, super cute. And y'all have seen it probably in a past video. I haven't reviewed that one yet, but I definitely can. And do comparisons as well. There are four different types of fabric. There's the Croc fabric. There's metallic, which is my Super Nano one that I have. There's a smooth calfskin, and also there is a grained calfskin. My Nano is grain uh, calfskin, but this one is smooth calfskin. Let's get into the outer appearance. So dimensions, I always like to tell y'all this. It is 8.6 inches across by 5.5 down, and then 4.3 inches this way, like your width. So 4.3, by 5.5 by 8.6 inches. Those are your dimensions. Okay, so here it is up close once again. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to hide my nails that are broken off. I'm going in a couple of days. I know I always say that, but I happen to film when I need to freaking manicure. I apologize, but this is what it looks like. It has silver hardware, very, very smooth leather. There are no feet on the bottom, but as you see, this bag is pretty structured, so that's not a problem with sitting on the counter or anything like that. The back of it has nothing, no pockets or anything. It's just smooth all the way across. Your sides kind of come out a little bit. I think that's absolutely adorable on both sides. Okay. Also, the handles are pretty smooth on the outside, but it's braided on the inside. I think that's a nice, intricate addition to the bag, great detail. There are some tassels on the zipper. There are two different zippers across the top here. Of course, you can put them all on one side. I kind of like putting both of them in the middle just so I can have that cute little tassel on both sides, but it's up to you, it's your preference. There's also a longer strap, as you can see, that is removable. So if you want to wear a crossbody, if you want to wear a shoulder, you can do just that. And it is adjustable with these little babies right there. That's your outer appearance. I don't think I missed anything. Also, there's a zipper here too. You could put something in there. You could put a piece of gum in there. You can't fit a card. Mm, can you fit a card in there? Hold on, I need to grab one. All right, so I have my driver's license here. It's the same size as a card, so we're gonna see if that fits. Let's see if this fits in here. I'm gonna do what fits later. Okay, so a card does fit in there. But keep in mind, it might take you a little time to get it out. Well, not really. It kind of slides in and out. That's good to know. You could put a few cards in there if you don't want to carry a card holder. You can actually put stuff in here. There are also two buckles on the front here, like that. And some gourmet silver hardware across the bag, front and back. Let's move on to interior characteristics. I do not have a bag insert. To be honest with you, I don't feel it's necessary. This bag is super structured. Yes, I have bag inserts from other bags, but I feel like I wanna use my entire space. I don't want any of it taken up by an insert. But if I happen to get one, I'll of course let you know. This is the dust bag, of course, the traditional gray dust bag. And I still have some cards, or a care card in here. Okay, so here's your interior. Of course, it zips across with two zippers. 
there's actually a card slot in here. So it's like a slide card slot. And it says Balenciaga there. And then there's this wide open space. There are no pockets on the other side. Ways to wear it. There are three ways to wear it. You can wear it crossbody, like you put it across your body. You can wear a top handle, the two little handles, or you can do a shoulder bag. This, this is not really a clutch type of bag. I wouldn't recommend doing that, especially with smooth leather, because you can kind of mess it up if you do that. I didn't do it, thank God, but don't do that. And yeah, now let's get into what fits. I have it wide open for you. Nothing is in here. I want to test out this interior pocket. This is also a spot where you can put cards. So I'm going to grab a couple of cards, actually. So I typically carry two cards with me, maximum, okay? So I have my driver's license and I have my debit card. That fits without a problem inside that little interior slot, okay? So if you don't want to carry a card holder, you have two different places to put it. You are put them. You can put them inside this interior slot or at the front. It's much easier to get them, uh, you know, out of the interior pocket. Also, if you don't want to be like typical or, you know, you don't want people to assume, okay, her car's in her purse, like a pickpocket or something like that. The front pocket is kind of a secret and it might be good that it's kind of harder to get in and out of it because I don't know, if, if someone's trying to go in your purse, they're going to probably go in the inside first and not this pocket right here. So that's a pro of having this right here. Okay, we'll talk about pros and cons later. I don't know why I'm doing it now. But anyway, I have a couple of cards in there. I have my mini pochette. I have some cash. I have some, or this is a feminine wipe. I have also hand wipes too. For sanitization purposes, I have some gum. More cards. Oh, okay. Glad I didn't show y'all that. <laughs> of course, panty liners. And I need to actually take this out, but I'm traveling. I need to keep it in here. But y'all gonna laugh. I, told, I think I told y'all about this before. I have some travel sea salt and pepper. Everybody can't cook. So your girl, I got another one in here too. This is Tony's and red pepper flakes. Everybody can't cook, so you gotta come prepared no matter where you go. This is my mini pochette. Does this fit in here? It absolutely does with ease and it doesn't stick out on the sides, along the top or anything and you still have room for other stuff. All right, I have my phone here. 11 Pro Max, nothing special. I haven't upgraded, I don't see a need to. My phone still works, so yeah. This is going in here. It fits also with ease. Slides right along the back. Now say for instance, I don't know, you needed somewhere else to store your cards. You just have to have a card holder or somewhere to store your keys or your cards. I have this key pouch. I have another key that's dangling from here. That fits with ease as well. So we're already, we have a lot of space in here for stuff. I have my lip product today, which I always link my lip product in the description box in case you're curious. This is ColourPop Blotted Lip in the color Melty. That's what I'm wearing today. You could put that in your mini pochette too, but I just want to show you that it fits. I need to attach this key to something else, but I have two car keys, but we're going to put that in there for now. So I still have space to put other stuff. I don't think I would though, just because that's really all I need. I have gum, I have hand wipes, I have, you know, panty liners, lip product, my phone, which I normally keep in my purse anyway. I just want to show y'all that it does fit. If it's a mini pochette, this bag is roomy and it's oh so adorable. It's not too big, it's not heavy with all of this stuff in there. The bag is still structured very nicely. It will zip with ease. I can just show y'all even though I'm sure you know it will fit. And nothing sticks out on the top, along the top. It still fits securely and nicely. I don't know what else I would even put in here because I don't, <laughs> I don't really need much in my purse. You can even slip, okay, a mirror in there if you want to put that in there. Yeah, I mean, it holds so much. It holds a lot. Now, as far as an agenda or something like that, you're going a little overboard. You're not gonna be able to fit that in there unless you have one of those little small ones, not the medium size one like I have from Louis Vuitton, but it holds all of that stuff, okay? All of that stuff. So now I'm gonna show you a few ways to style this baby.
Okay, let's get into pros of this bag. The first one, it holds more than my essentials. So I had room to put other stuff if I wanted to, but it fit all of my essentials, everything. Like I, if it's my mini pochette, which you can put stuff inside, you know that. If it's my keys, if it's cards, an actual card holder if I needed it to. It holds my phone. I know that's a selling point for a lot of people. You know, they keep their phone in their purse. Yeah, if it's all of that. And I still have room for other stuff if I wanted to. But, you know, I don't need to put anything else because it's going to make it heavy. Er, it's very lightweight, even when you pack it, okay? It's not heavy at all. I feel like the structure of it and the thick double strap really helps to maintain that lightweightedness and, you know, supporting everything that you have in here. This bag comes in so many different color options, okay? It's not limited. Whether you want a bold color like this, whether you want a neutral, whether you want a metallic, croc, anything like that, it comes in so many different options. Like literally Roy G. Biv, Roy G. Biv, this bag comes in, okay? It comes in so many colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I'm not just telling you that, it really does. Neons, pastels, so many different colors. So many different options, which is a bonus because the bag is so affordable. Leading into my next one, affordability. It is super affordable compared to other luxury brands and not only affordable, the quality is there. Like, oh, the leather is so nice. It smells amazing, it feels amazing and I just love it. I have no complaints about this. Well, I have a few, but the few complaints aren't bad. We're gonna get to cons right after I finish pros. We still have some more to get through. Another pro, I told y'all we're gonna get more into the price. I told y'all it ranges from 1750 to 2090. However, I recommend you get it on sale because all of these sizes that I've seen often go on sale. I believe this particular style, I got it 40% off. And I think I got it on Moda Operandi, which is like, it's a European. I'm gonna say European because I don't know what country it is. It's a European brand that sells a luxury. They're legit and all of that. But they had a 40% off sale. And I was able to scoop this baby up as such a steal. So I got it way lower than it's priced. So, and I've seen them on sale on Gilt. I've seen them on sale sometimes on Louisa Via Roma and other places. Bloomingdale's is another great place. Sometimes in even Marcus, I believe too. So many different places that offer these on sale. So even though it's an affordable price, you can get it even more affordable by waiting on the sale. Add it to your wish list and you know, just wait for it to go on sale. It's very understated. Yes, it has Balenciaga here. However, look how close I have to get to you for you to see that. Yes, it's kind of of a, if you know, you know type of bag. You know, people know this style, people know this shape, but you know, if you don't want people to know you got a Balenciaga bag, like you just want to be reserved and you know, you don't want the type of attention, this is the perfect bag because literally you have to get close to see Balenciaga. It's the same color as the bag and it's small. It doesn't have any logos on it. If you don't want to show this at all, you think, okay, people gonna know. <laughs> Flip it to the back. Yes, it doesn't have this intricate design on it, but you have flexibility there. Flip it to the other side. Super understated. And my last pro, I'm sure I'm missing some, but these are the only ones I could come up with. Super easy to style. Even this color is super easy to style. And because it's so understated, you don't really have to worry about, okay, what am I gonna wear this with? You have so many different options. Again, they come in neutrals, black, white, brown, tan, blue, green, orange, whatever you want. Super easy to style. You don't have to worry about it. It doesn't have multicolor, you know, you don't, it's not crazy. It has silver hardware, child. You can wear this any type of what you want, okay? Let's move into the cons. Okay, so right away, I noticed this was kind of an issue, but I don't care. There's so many other pros that outweigh the cons. I found that the strap was a bit easier to, or a bit harder to remove. The longer strap, look at that. So it has one of those type of clasps and you kind of have to really squeeze it in to get it out, which can kind of be a pain, but it's not a deal breaker for me. So I didn't show y'all what it looks like without the strap. It's so cute if you just wear it without that. Oh, 
but it's a bit harder to remove. You just have to kind of squeeze it in a little more, use a little more force to it. But again, not that big of a deal. Another con, of course, with it going on saw all the time, and because it's Balenciaga, it's going to have a lower resale value. That's not really super important to me because with this type of bag, I'm not gonna resell it, okay? So I do know that's important to a lot of people because even though you might not buy your bags to resell, you might change your mind one day, you might not like it. Or you might wanna make room in your wardrobe for something else and you wanna resell it. You're not gonna really get that with this because it goes on sale and the brand, unfortunately. Another con, it's not a super popular style. People buy these, but it's not super popular. It's not super trending right now. Again, y'all know I don't have an issue with that. I buy what I like. I don't worry about who has what. That's just me. I, you know, all the bags I have, probably, I don't know, 20, 30% are trending. If I relied on that, there's a lot of bags in my collection I wouldn't wear that would just be sitting there looking at me stupid. I don't care. And I definitely recommend you do the same. Just buy what you like, okay? And don't worry about what's trending. Some bags you're gonna be like, okay, I can't really wear this. Like it's, it has sequins or I don't know. It is shearling or something. You can only wear it a certain time of year. Those are exceptions. But for the most part, buy what you like. Don't worry about who has it. For me, I kind of like when bags aren't trending because I'm the only person wearing it usually. And I have no issue with that. Okay, that's just me. Let me know if y'all own this bag. If you own a different color, even a different size. If you have any special requests, other requests that I do in this bag, let me know. But I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.